So we're starting with two vectors and we're gonna compute the dot product, projection, angle between, and then a few more. This is the orthogonal projection um, or the complementary projection and then the dot product down here uh, of the new Q dot W. Uh, oops, I didn't cover that answer up. Better do that now. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So dot product, I didn't copy that out of the book. I have uh, both of these right out of the textbook, page 1039 and 1036. So when you do a dot product, the first one is AB dot CD. You multiply the first two, so it's A times C plus B times D, and then you add those together. So our particular uh, V and W we have negative one half square root three over two dot square root two over two comma square root two over two. So we're multiplying the first coordinates and then the second coordinates And when you multiply fractions, numerators and denominators get multiplied. So we have negative one times square root two. And that negative could stay outside. Two times two is four, plus square root three times square root two. You can write it as square root three times two over two times two, which is four. Common denominator, you can add these together. Uh, we have negative square root two, plus square root six all over four. <clears throat> I like to write the positive one first. So I'll write it in this order. Uh, turn it into a decimal and that should be the number you get right there. Uh, you can do that in any calculator. Uh, let's go ahead and do the projection now. For the projection, you're gonna need the definition 11, 12. And we've basically computed most of it. It's a dot product of the two vectors times the second vector. So we have projection W onto V equals V dot W. These are parentheses here. These are not diamond brackets. So you can do this first. And then that's a number which we just computed and you multiply it by W. Let's go ahead and get the decimal approximation. Now, I do have the Desmo scientific calculator opened here. We have a square root of six minus square root, oops, that's not, we're gonna hit the undo button. Square root six, all right, we'll just start over. Square root six, now we need to move the cursor outside, minus square root two. You wanna take all this, and divide by four, so how do we do that? Wrap that in parentheses, divided by four. Okay, so come on. Copy, all right. There we go. So we'll use that value here. Paste. All right, so it's that times the vector w. All right, so I'll go back to the calculator. Paste times square root two divided by two. There we go. Luckily, both of these are the same. So it's gonna be diamond bracket and then the same value a second time. Yours likely won't be the same value, but this vector happened to have both the same values there. All right. So that should be, so we see we got the first answer right. Second answer is what we got. Now we're ready to get the angle. We're gonna to need to use this theorem here. It's the arc cosine of this. 
All right, we've already computed the numerator, so let's just rewrite this. Our cosine is cos inverse. So we need to compute the magnitude of each right there. Okay. So we have 0 0.25881905451 divided by, so divided by All right, so let's go ahead and compute the magnitude of V. So that's going to be a square root of negative one half squared plus square root three over two squared. So one half squared is one fourth plus square root three squared is regular three over four. So that is square root one, which is one. And to w is similar. That was square root two over two squared plus square root two over two squared. Square root two squared is, f nope. Square root two squared is regular two over four plus the same thing. Square root one is one. All right, divided by one times one. All right, so really all we need is cosine inverse of that number. So let's run back to the calculator. Now you have to hit function, get to cos inverse. Now should we be, we're in degree mode, but should we be in degrees or radians? In degrees, so that's important. So we're in degrees, that's good. Let's paste, nope, oh, that's the wrong value. Copy, paste, enter, 75, okay. 75, I'll write that a little degree symbol. You won't need to put that in there because it's already labeled with degrees. So let's go ahead and uncover that answer. All right, when you see something like this, uh, it's just a computer uh, computation error on a computer. So they really mean 75. Okay, so how do we do the next part, well, we've already computed this right here, and that is somewhere, that's this thing. All right, so Q, V minus projection W onto V equals, I'm gonna turn these into decimals. So there's the negative one half is 0.5. Square root three over two as a decimal. Let's go ahead to the calculator and do that again. And let's go ahead and just use, I'm gonna just type all this in. So we have negative 0.5 comma, paste in that second one, dot, which is not really on the keyboard, so let's use a period. Uh, now the other vector we have right here, wait, what am I doing? Nope, we're subtracting, wow. So we're subtracting this vector. All right, now I have to compute these. And we're subtracting them. So it's gonna be negative 0.5. minus this value. Uh, 
decimals. All right, so that's the first value. And then the second value is this number minus this number. Okay, so now we're ready to compute this. All right, because this is text, I can copy and paste now. Over to my calculator, paste, there we go. Get the second. Paste that in. All right. Okay, so there we go. So it's point six eight, negative point six eight, positive point six eight. All right, last one. I'm not gonna compute that, it's a regular dot product, um, and it's Q dot W. Just make sure you dot the right vectors together, which vector is Q. It's this thing right here, so it's Q dot W. Uh, w is somewhere, that's W right there. So make sure you dot the right two vectors together, and that number should uh, come out to be zero.